Buongiorno, it's Domenico and Giuseppe. Dad has made fillings, and we're gonna make cucciatatis today, which are the fig cookies. So the first step is to go to Costco because they have the, the best quality and the least costly dried figs. Then you're gonna need a couple of uh, bags of walnuts, which are about five pounds per bag. With the figs, with the walnuts, you're going to have to have uh, honey, so you want to buy about two of these large containers of honey. They're going to go into the filling mix. And then after the honey, uh, you add just a half teaspoon of cloves, uh, one to two cups of the candied uh, fruits. And then you go out and get two oranges. And what you do is you peel the orange, you put it in the oven, and as it starts to turn color, you take it out, dice it up. And the juice will work too. Uh, and what you end up with is a mixture that looks like this with figs, walnuts, honey, cloves, uh, candied fruit, and the one to two large orange rinds that you've dried out in the oven and have diced up and mixed into this filling. So once you've bought the figs at Costco, you need to come home and open the bag and put the uh, figs in uh, a uh, container. And then one by one, you cut off the stem. You cut the fig in half to take a look to make sure that you don't have little guests inside the fig. In order to cut the figs up, chop them up, grind them actually. This is for me the most effective way and that is this manual process. A figs, walnuts go in and then you put the dye onto the grinder so you can see how a fig is going to get ground out with that dye. So after you've you ground the figs and the walnuts. You then add the honey, and then you add the candied fruit, and you mix this all up by hand. All added, stirred, 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 and then you want a consistency that you can stretch out, and you'll see when we begin to make the cookie. Okay, to make the dough, we add eight cups of flour, two cups of Crisco, Just feel like I haven't gotten any stage time. We're not going to add a uh, half teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to add two cups of sherbet. Uh, we let it rest uh, an hour or longer. Now we mix all the ingredients. You just want the strip about two inches wide, three inches. The traditional Sicilian cucciadati, once we've put the filling on the strip and we've used a ravioli cutter to get that little decoration. Normally, we, the cookie is uh, two uh, openings wide. So from the frosting yep. that we're going to put on the cochinade, we use powdered sugar. So once we get to the right consistency, then we add the lemon and juice, okay? And put in it through a sieve like this. And the lemon makes all the difference in the world. And forget to sprinkle that. We 
We only bake and drink wine from our favorite winery, which is Solozano Vineyards, and you can find them on Instagram. Amazing wine.